Hey guys and girls, so we're back. This is part two of updating the Super Bug Giller game with some new in app purchases for iPhone iOS. So I'm back now and I'm just checking what the next thing is I need to do. Um, I feel refreshed by the way, and I, I have my cup of tea, so uh, my brain is more alive now. Not really a cup of tea though, this is a glass of tea. I lost my cup. Need to find it. So I think. The next thing that we needed to do was set up the uh, the in-app purchases inside of iTunes uh, so that when the user taps on, on one of these buttons here, like 5,000, 10,000, or 20,000, uh, it knows what data to retrieve from iTunes so that it can then pop up and say, oh, this is the price, do you want to buy it, yes or no? So the first thing we're going to do is the 5,000 one. So if I go to manage in-app purchases inside of iTunes, and what I'm going to do is create a new one. And I'm actually going to do this in a new tab if I can. I believe I can. And the reason I'm going to do it in a new tab is just so that I can copy some of the data from one of these ones, uh, copy the text, so that I don't have to sort of bounce back and forth between windows. Uh, there we go. So for this one, it is a consumable. A consumable is something that isn't like activated. Uh, an activation would be like a non-consumable. Say, like you unlock a weapon, a weapon like a gun, that would be non-consumable. But consumable is is a is a like coins. They they you can't. It's not unlocked. It's just something you buy and then you'll spend it in the game. So I'm going to select consumable, uh, and you can see here the reference name from the 100 bees. So I'm just going to click copy, uh, right click. Uh, sorry, uh, control and paste that. All right, and this is, did we say 5,000? Yeah, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. So get 5,000 bees to unlock uh, more higher score multipliers and other items. So other items will be coming later, but I'm just keeping that in there for now. Um, okay. Higher score multiplier. Slice the price. Get 5,000 bees to unlock higher, uh, unlock higher score multipliers and be the best. Kill them, kill them flies. Uh, Alright, go kill them flies, Ninja Master. Okay, so uh, the reference name, uh, I'm making it a little bit different here. And part of the reason is that because uh, from, from the research that I've done is basically that reference names or the data that you enter into a in-app purchase actually affects the searchability or discoverability of your application. So if there's more keywords inside of the reference name that relate to the game, then people will also find that uh, and it will rank slightly higher in searches. So it's important to uh, play around a little bit with the words and, and not have the same words all the time. So I'm going to try and play I'm going to try and add some different keywords in here. So uh, Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, all right. So next one is a hundred bees product ID. Uh, I think I can just copy this from the script, so it's the same one. So this would be this one, I'm going to copy that because it has to connect, it has to see the same one. It has to be the same product ID name that you call inside of the script to get the data. 5,000 cleared for sale, yes. Uh, the price tier that we decided on for 5,000 views was $15. Uh, da, 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 da. That's probably around tier 15, I'm guessing. The matrix will pop up in a moment and show us how much that costs. Uh, 
This looks like it's going to be a little bit slow. Usually it pops up automatically, but let's just click on view the pricing matrix. Because they recently updated this uh, the iTunes portal, so some things don't appear. Uh, so we'll just give this a second. Sorry for the delay here, guys. All right. Well, as well, so waiting for that, I'll get the text from from the other one uh, from the 100 bees. Okay, we're having a little bit of a problem here. Uh, that's not a major, major, major issue. That's okay. So, uh, so anyway, for in that purchase, what we need to do is add a language. Um, and we're having some problem here at the moment. This could be because of my internet connection. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> probably why. Okay, sorry about this, guys. It's not a very smooth video, but you know, I guess uh, I guess you'll learn. Um, Guess you'll learn a little bit how, what sort of problems we kind of run into on uh, when developing games, and you know maybe give you uh, a way to get around them or things to be prepared for. All right, so let's go back into this managing our purchases. We'll create a new one. It is consumable. Reference name, get 5,000 bees, go kill, okay. go kill them flies, Ninja Master, and let's copy the 5,000 bees product ID back into iTunes, that's fine, clear to sell, yes, price tier 15, maybe this will pop up now, see how that goes, um, blah, 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 blah. alright, this is useful, this has popped up, so we said that, yeah, price tier 15 is $15, and we said fifteen dollars for five thousand bees. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So you see, it popped up there this time. That's great. So fifteen dollars. Um, US is usually the one that I I check against first. Uh, we're gonna add a language. English uh, display name and. Uh, let me just cancel that one second because I'm going to copy this text up here as the display name. Add text, display name. Uh, it might be too long. We'll see. And I'm going to copy that in there as well. So get 5,000 Bs to get uh, higher score multipliers and be the best. Go kill the flies, Ninja Master. Save that. We'll see. Okay, so in our purchases can't be longer than 75 characters. I think it must be this one here. Um, I don't think this might be a little bit too long still. Bees. That's supposed to be the best. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut this down, but I do want to use as many characters as possible. You see. Hmm. Uh, get five of these to get higher multipliers. Kill them. This might be okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, and again, the reason I'm trying to use all seventy-five characters here is because, uh, like I mentioned before, if you if you have more keywords inside of the uh, the in-app purchases section, then the, it gets ranked higher. So that's important. So I think we're okay for this one right now. We don't have a screenshot because we've not actually tested that, but we can add a screenshot later, and that's needed for when you submit the, your uh, game for approval through iTunes. So I'm going to click on Save. Okay, see, so waiting for screenshot, so that's fine. We can do that soon. Uh, I'm actually going to add the other ones in right now as well, so bear with me, guys, as I do this. Reference name, so this is ten thousand. Um, get ten thousand of these. Uh, Uh, 
uh, get 10,000 bees to be. All that bees in there. 10,000 bees to be the ultimate um, uh, slice master. Alright, and the product ID is, we said get 10,000 bees. Uh, sorry, this one here, product ID. That's why iTunes tap in there. Get 10,000 bees to be the ultimate slice. Slice plug ninja master. Uh, cleared for sale, yes. And we, I think we wanted to, was it tier 20? Did we say $20 or 25 Okay, 10,000 was $30. Uh, so presumably that is price tier 30. We will see. Yeah, so price tier 30 is $30, that is correct, $29.99. Uh, we're going to add a language down here. It's going to be English, display name. Uh, get 10,000 bees to be the ultimate slice bug ninja master. Um, put them up. Alright, now I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste this in here, get 10,000 bees to be the ultimate slice for Ninja Master. Cut them all bad. The world in the global leaderboards. Alright, let's see if this works, it seems to have worked okay. I might just edit this a slightly. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't think I can edit that now just because I've, uh, I can go back into it and edit the English, uh, but I can't uh, edit this one right now by clicking on it. I just wanted to add all the 75 characters in there, uh, but I will come back to this. Even after you've submitted the app, if the, if the game is not in review, you can come back to this data and update it later. Uh, but it's a good thing to do that later, actually, because once it's in the queue, then you're in the queue and you can and you can edit things uh, even if you want to edit it say two or three days later after you've done some uh, keyword research or something like this okay so i'm just going to click on save so i'm not too concerned about the keywords just yet because i can change those later uh the most important thing right now is just to to get it updated and get it in the queue so let's create a new one and this is the last in our purchase consumable and reference name this is twenty thousand. Um, okay, so get 20,000. Uh -huh. 20,000 bees. Um, I'm just last master with with a super high score. <laughs> Obviously, the, I'm just sort of messing around with the English there a little bit. Um, it needs to be described a little bit better. But like I say, we can do this later. But for the sakes of just getting in the in the queue, uh, it's important. So 20,000 Bs, product ID. Uh, and it's good to get in the queue soon because it's currently taking around two weeks to get an app approved on the iPhone App Store, uh, which is a long time, so it's much, it's important to get in there fast. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm clicking Command and A to select all of these, Command and C, then Command and V to copy it, uh, copy and paste it. Click for sale, yes, and I think, what did we say, we said $50 for 20000 boom, boom, boom. Tier 50, I presume. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Um, if somebody does purchase this, if they really like the game, then that's great. And so let me just copy this one again because we're going to add this into the description here. English, display name, display name. I'll update these ones later. Click on save. Okay, so I've got too many words in there. Uh, the world high score. Mm 
and your, uh, and your master. All right, so there we go. And again, so a screenshot will come later. I'll click on save. All right, so here, these guys are now set up. So we've got 5,000, 10,000, and 20,000. And, and that should be fine for us to test upon now. So if I go back into Unity, uh, I again always clicking on file and save scene, save project because we're about to build to the iPhone. And so let me just get my device here a second, guys. I'm already plugged in. I just want to remove the old version from my phone because just so that it doesn't conflict with anything originally because I might have already unlocked a bunch of these in, in this uh, the version that's already live and so I want to delete that out and make sure I've got a clean install. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is go to build settings and I want to update the version as well because whenever you submit to say iPhone or, or uh, to Android or any of the other markets you have to have a, a higher version number. So I'm just going to call this 5.0 and that should all be fine. The name is fine. I'm just running things through my head to make sure to check if there's anything else that I need before I actually build. I don't think there is. I think everything is good here. All right, so save project. And what I'm going to do is click Control and or command and be on the Mac and then I'm going to start the build process and what that'll do is that'll open up Xcode um, and then actually deploy it to my to my device here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm making sure that I'm connected to the internet as well uh, because the game has uh, ads in it so what we want to do is when we're testing is we want to make sure that the ads are appearing in the game uh, I did make the mistake before of actually uh, putting a game onto the market but I didn't test if the ads were appearing on an iPad and so they weren't appearing, uh, which basically means that we couldn't. At least this is an iPod Touch 4. Um, it's probably a, a good device to test on uh, because it's, a, it's more of a lower end one now. iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, uh, iPad two and I believe the iPad 1 are all stronger in terms of processing power and memory than this one. Uh, iPad 1 might be roughly the same but uh, it's good because it's a lower end device so if things run smoothly on an iPad 4 then you you should be pretty good on all the other devices above that uh, and I believe the most popular device right now is actually an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 4S so uh, there will be some obviously users using iPhone 3, iPhone 3G but that's that's a smaller, uh, a smaller segment so I think Anything from the iPod 4 upwards is, is a good uh, is a good sort of target to test on. Uh, I also test on an iPad 1 as well, so that's that's useful. So this is just building at the moment. This uh, this might take a few minutes. So what I might do, guys, is I may actually pause the video and then come back to it once it's loaded, just so you're not watching me uh, sort of stare at this thing as it's kind of loading. Uh, the other thing is as well, just to mention as well, guys, the the uh, the iOS version, sorry, the, the Xcode version that I'm using is actually an older version. Uh, so you guys, some of you might recognize this is version 3.2.5. Uh, the reason being is basically that uh, the, the Mac that I'm using right here is is an older version. Um, uh, sorry, when I got the Mac around one and a half years ago, uh, I didn't update the Xcode version to, I think it's 4.1 or 4.2. Uh, because I basically have a fear of updating things because I believe I always think it will crash everything. Uh, what I would prefer to do is actually get a new Mac and test on that one and then move the projects over to that Mac. Uh, what I found is when updating it does cause some problems, say for example um, uh, in Unity when I updated from I think it was 3.4 to 3.5 there was some conflict in the scripts and that required a little bit of time to sort out. Now you know if, if you're not planning to do uh, uh, a release immediately then then that's fine and, and then if you want to do the update it gives you some more features so for example going from unity 3.3 or 3.4 to 3.5 uh, allowed us to build games for Android 4.0 devices uh, which is very important because a lot of people were updating to Android 4.0 um, so it's definitely worth it to do that but just just be aware that if you do update you could run into some into some uh, errors and some bugs 
uh, which is which is okay if you've got the time to, to sort of go through those and and uh, generally the unity unity community is uh, uh, on the unity forums is really really good in sort of getting back uh, and and giving feedback and, and the support um, uh, the administrators on there often give uh, direction on how to solve problems so that's really good